Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today, uh, I still have a cold, but I'll make myself a nice honey and lemon to, to sip during the loading screens. But I've got to say, it's... Oh, it really hits the spot. So, uh, yeah, Tordranil. Um, so... Yeah, Necrosith is, uh, sorry, not Clusith. Um, he's gonna, hopefully, fight off, uh, just swarms of, uh, Illyrians and Tyrannochians and whatever else, um, comes from this way. I'm kind of annoyed that more units aren't funneling towards the Phoenix Gate, but no, no, had to be a, just some soft, crappy target here for them, which is sort of important for me to maintain, uh, order and growth and things in this province. Inhospitable provinces are rubbish. I hate them. They are very, very annoying. But um, here we are. Here we are. The Sword of Cain is important. So we need to keep this all happy. It's just, it's just where we're at. Death so anyway. Yes. Hopefully their death. But we will bring the carnage. Alright. So this should be a doddle. Why? Because I've decided that that's going to be the case. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to blindly hope that it is. But we've done some cavalry and a few, you know, bits and bobs kicking around. So, you know, I think, I think we've got some tools. Uh, anyhow, so Lyrian Reavers, that's not going to be too, too dangerous. Okay, let's get stuck in. Are right, you flying over there? I'm going to try and get in behind with the harpies so we can get into um, the back of these guys. Okay, excellent. Good stuff. And go straight for Gilgalion. Looks like these guys are trying to flee, which is uh, pretty great actually for us. Pretty good. And that's taking far too long. How did you surround the entire unit? That's impressive. <laughs> that's really quite impressive. So if we can get, like, into the heart of these guys, then we can use Dark Conduit on, on the enemies, and that'll be great. Okay, good. Good. This should... This should be those two units dead. Okay, so Dark Conduit. Go! Excellent. I'll challenge the rear of them. And uh, we're laughing. So, they're shattered. Perfect. Into the next lot, please. You start shooting them. Looks like we're killing these guys in a hurry, but... Well, it's not that much of a hurry, honestly. So, dinosaurs having a fun time. Good boy. Okay. You get in behind. You go for the archers. So yeah, you get in behind these guys and, and flank them. Spot on. Okay, get in before they can flee. I want to make sure they get shattered. So pin them in, damage them, do what you can. You keep chasing them down. Those cavalry are having a bad day, which is wonderful. Wonderful. I like it when my enemies have a bad day. It's always my best day. Uh, they're not shattered, which is disappointing. It's not shattering. Please shatter. I'd really rather you were dead. Alright, you will shoot them because they need to die. Okay. Come on, boys. He's going to these archers. Okay, they should flee. I'd be surprised if they didn't. Okay, you keep running in. There's Murderous Prowess, wonderful. Stegadon is still fighting, but... Uh, okay, charge the back of them. And yeah, this is perfect, because we're going to hit a bunch of those spearmen too, I think. Okay, keep going. You charge in. And you go for those guys. We're just going to back off away from all of their spearmen here. Hopefully... Those Illyrian Reavers will die in a hurry. We'll have another Dark Conduit soon, which is great. Oh, come on. Break, so I can keep running. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Guys. There we go. Good. Now to their archers that are being a real pain, actually. They have 28 kills already. Which I'm not best pleased about. Yeah, you guys doing well. You will run in. And so now we've actually turned the tide in this little fight, which is great. 
And now they're going to get very, very shot, which is perfect for me. Uh, okay, Dark Conduit again on the Stegadon. I don't know, keep chasing, keep chasing, keep chasing, keep chasing, keep chasing. Oh. That's, that's a shame. Okay, you start shooting them. You guys move forward. Keep chasing these guys, please. And uh, maybe go for the Archmage, actually. So we are in a bit of a bind here. I'm afraid to say. But shouldn't last long. Shouldn't last long. How are there archers in here? That's weird. Uh, no, no. No, not through Sith. No, no, no. I didn't say you could die. You might die. That would be disappointing. I think we're probably alright. Yeah, they want to run away. Alright, we're good. We're good. And now we finally have our armor. We've got our tank getting in here. Perfect. And yeah, these guys are going to be fine just shooting anything that wants to return from over there. And, oh yeah, you shoot Gilgalian. Excellent. All right, you're having a good time. So, I mean, it looks like we got this. It looks like we got this, frankly. Looks like we got this. Just going to take a hot minute, you know? I right, don't, don't do that. Mate, come on. All right. Turn around. Start shooting their lords, etc. He should be dead in a minute. For the king. Come on. Dark Come on now. How is he not dead yet? Seriously. We are ready. God, just doesn't want to die. We are ready. There we go. There we go. It doesn't mean they're going to fresh one, obviously. Uh, I do want to make sure that she's dead. Right, honestly. Because she's just not going to be able to respawn. I'm just going to be able to get, like, another spellcaster. So, um, let's just speed this up a bit. Go on. Go on now. So how did my Stegodon do? 63 kills? That's fine. Yeah, did it right. There we go. Heroic victory. Alright, so this is going to take forever to replenish, sadly. So, um... Oh, luckily, yeah. Luckily, it's slaves that I want, but also that gives replenishment, so we should be okay. Although, I think this replenishment will only apply to not close Sith, which is annoying. But, uh, I don't know, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed that the garrison will replenish quickly. It's just such a sucky place. Uninhabitable places are, uh, uninhabitable. I know. Who knew? Okay, so Safari's moving in. Been at war with them for a while. It's the first we've seen of them. Um, I think while they were on their way around to come for us. Oh, okay, never mind. This is more important. So, with the markets of Karondkar thronging with captives from your expeditions, your preeminence in the city is almost assured. Fearing your influence, the city's current Drakau is willing to offer a substantial bribe in return for your allegiance. He is clearly weak. Spurn his offering and declare your intention to claim the city, and no doubt its citizens would rally to you. So, we can uh, cheer him right up and uh, have them give us a bunch of money. Or we can just take Caron Car, which I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be a uh, murderous, egotistical lunatic if I didn't, so I'm gonna claim the city. Uh, we might be losing a bit of money now though, you might have noticed, but uh, oh wow. Ah, huh. in my test campaign, they hadn't actually expanded. I just got the one uh, island they hadn't actually got this far. So that's fun. Uh, so, Shakara and Elon, huh? Well, having both of you is too much. So, Shakara and Elon, both similar similar levels. Uh, these guys are going to be costing us a fortune. So, these masters are off. See you later, mates. They're just not worth it if they're going to be sat pretty much idle. I don't really intend on expanding from here. You know, I'd rather just make the money from this area and call it a day. Uh... So let's see, um, Black Light Tower, I'm probably going to let, uh, oh, no, I'm not going to let it go, that's actually part of this content, sorry, I totally forgot about that. I, I left that one, just 
to its own devices earlier. Uh, but anyway, we have a Hydra Blade, so that's lovely. Cool. I like that. Good job, Not Crusith. Not Crusith. Uh, the Hydra Blade was carved from a single fan of uh, Akolrak. First and greatest of the War Hydras broken by Malekith. Fun. Also, we did this quest. Obviously, we got the event already. That's the one that lets you confederate. Which, yes. Funnily enough, we have done. Uh, so we secured that. Did a confederation. Fine. Uh, this can get uh, more income. No, sorry, not more income. More growth. And that will get us more income. And we have to choose between these two armies. Really, I just need to get rid of one. Because it's really supply lines that's doing most of the work here. Um, can they reach each other? I don't think they can. I don't think they can quite reach each other, which is very annoying. Uh, so you know what? Let's just get rid of you. That's fine. I don't want Elon. It is beasts. It is beasts. But she hasn't really unlocked anything yet, so... And what did you get? Uh, Slaughter Lord. Really? Witch Elves, Executioners, Blackguards, Sister Slaughter. Like, we... You don't have any access to any of that. So tell you what, Shakara's going. That was the Draco Dracal for the last one. So we'll get rid of her. And uh, we'll keep you. You seem fairly loyal. Ish. Tell you what, let's make sure that this stays up. So I'm going to do this. Uh, more Convocation Hunters would be good, but... Having a chance to put loyalty up and just putting, you know, public order up generally, I think is useful. Uh, so we're still losing a grand per turn. Because that's costing 1700 and this is earning us 1600 That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem to add up. Although I guess we were losing money already. But I didn't think that much. Huh. Okay, whatever. Inspiring presence. And do I chase that guy down? Or do I chase them down? Do I chase anyone down? Or do I just leave them? They will have to run home before they can recruit more. So letting them live is probably easier. In a, in a crazy mixed up way. Okay, so what's the way to get out of this mess? I mean, a great way to get back into, you know, back into a good spot would just be to get rid of that. Uh, and get rid of all these recruitment buildings, they're pointless. And I guess I'll get rid of those torture posts because this place is pretty happy anyway. So those are all gonna be walls. So I need to save the money for those. And uh, also, I will need the public order. That's income, which I'd quite like to keep a hold of. Well? Well, well what? Stand aside. So we'll just keep them for now. I need to make sure that I can fight off stuff that will inevitably declare war on us. And also, do you want to be friends? He doesn't want to be friends, guys. Mostly because the Confederation penalty. I always forget about that. Deadwood Sentinels, what about you? You, you no. have no hope in doing anything with us either. You guys all hate us. Confederation bonuses, guys. Not fun. Not Although Nagarites might want to trade with me. They're not at war with me, which is super weird. Oh, and then that just adjusted. Yeah, okay. A lot of these aren't adjusting what? for some reason. I will hear you. Let's fight. No. Oh. I will hear you. Do you want to do a thing? No. <laughs> okay. I don't feel very heard. Greetings. Okay, I don't feel very heard. Uh, so yeah, more Sisters of Avalon are turning up. Uh, which is a bit annoying. Bit annoying, but it's not the end of the world. Oh, and I guess I could get this built now. Although that will bankrupt us next turn. Uh, what can I reach? If anything. So I can almost get to Tor Kuali. But I think we're losing it, honestly. I think we're losing it. God, this is annoying. Never. This is absurd. What a bother. So Sardineth, upgrading that would be great. Because I'd be able to get a gold mine. But I just don't see... Actually, you know what? I think we're in a pretty good spot here. Because clearly, no one is paying attention to Admiral Tomalak. When they're attacking this place. So they are just throwing themselves at what they think is an easy target again and again and again. So that is actually great bait. So... Putting Sardineth up a tier might actually be a big benefit to us. Um, until then, though, let's try and get over to Tor Kuali. It's not going to help, sadly. It's not going to be enough, but... Can get watchtowers on uh, Elysia. And I can upgrade these places, too. Ugh. Sorry, not Elysia. Hang on. Mistner. Oh, over there. I don't, I don't need to do that. Let's not waste the money. 
But I think upgrading Elysia is a good idea because they might just head straight upwards to attack here. There's a potential for that. So I do need that upgraded. Uh, Kaelith is going to have to chill. You know what? I'm going to get rid of him. I'm going to get rid of him. Okay, we're going to get rid of her. And I'm just going to sit on the money. I can get more money. I can build everything I need. If they declare war on me, whatever. I can build another army. Okay? I'll just have to. But I can't deal with that, that you know, that constant cost. So we'll see how it goes. If I lose a bunch of that area, like, that's fine. Doesn't bother me. Um, so I'll leave Darkhold unbuilt. Okay. Let's move on. I'm sure this will be fine. Probably. Maybe. So they're probably going to... Oh, really? Oh, my God. They are very annoying. Also, it looks like they're actually going for Sardineth. Oh, my God. Like, why can't they just kamikaze at the, the nearest target over and over again? Okay, here we go. This is what I need them to do over and over again. Draw your blades, we fight. This is more like it. Okay, so. That was getting upgraded, but now the enemy have to run past, which is very annoying. But. Get off. I might be able to get over here and. Brackets. Can I reach? They oh my god, I can. Do. Okay, good. That's perfect. I really thought they'd be giving me the run around forever. Um, but this is perfect. Heal. This is perfect. Uh, I'm just going to auto resolve. I think it's a problem. My and we're going to slow. Well. Well, my beast. Good. And yeah, next turn we'll be on full strength, so we're good. Uh, and Scavengers of the Dead. We've got more Harpies. Lovely. And the Dragon Helm, an ornate, an ornate helm fashioned in the style of a dra of dragon scales, allowing the wearer to shrug off burning flame and bolts of fire. Good. So there is another unit up here, which um, might be head for Sardineth, which is annoying. Uh, Tyrion can't quite reach here, so actually... I would have to go into March starts though, and they could just turn around and attack Trelinia, which I'd rather they didn't. Grr. Big old grr. Grr, grr, grr. Angry. Let's get you another Charybdis. Also, we're rolling in money. We are absolutely rolling in money, clearly from the battles we just did. So that's perfect. So let's build that, let's build that. Let's build that, and I didn't actually destroy any of these because I didn't want to lower my income, which is a bother, because I really should have gotten... You know what, I'm getting rid of it. I'm getting rid of it. I know, I know, it's madness. But uh, I, I need to get the garrison building there as well. I need to get the walls up everywhere. So Sardineth, I can't risk upgrading, even though I really want to get that gold mine. Uh, but I can upgrade ports in a few places. I should probably I should probably upgrade the troll fjord. So let's do that. Let's get walls there. You know what? Screw it. Let's get Hang on. Oh, that's only tier two. Okay. I was like, how can I upgrade this one but not that one? Wrong tier. Let's upgrade that as well. So a lot of things being upgraded and built. Feels good. Feels good. Dragon Master. Dragon Master. I can get Carrion Crows. Fantastic. So, fly, my pretties. Fly. Armor piercing, weapon damage, plus five for harpies. Great. Also, extra 25% income from raiding. Uh, extra plus 25% income from post battle loot. And no upkeep cost for harpies. That's sick. I love it. Seeing as how there's no upkeep costs. Oh, okay. You still have to buy them, though. <laughs> Whatever. More harpies. More harpies for Rakath. And uh, Boudicca Soulblaze. Great name. Uh, Dark Pegasus, I'll be able to get it at level 16, so we're two levels off that. And I can sit in the sky and blast people with Amber Spears, which is always a lot of fun. Uh, Hagati's Blessing is pretty good for the extra winds of magic, but actually I want to get Scouting so I can start getting some better items. Um, because right now we don't have any good ones, really. We, we pick up the odd thing, but like... Uh, extra melee defense for you is not bad. I pick up the odd things, just nothing that impressive. A Femir Bale fiend as a follower. How would I not notice that? That's really cool. That's really cool to have. Let's get a Bale fiend. Get a Bale friend. It's not a Bale fiend, it's a Bale friend. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right, I made it adorable. 
I will I will take the edge off the the dark elves, okay? Their edginess is rubbish, so I'm going to I'm going to make them more friendly. Okay? Make them more complex with their bale friends. Uh so, we could do the ritual, but I'm not going to just yet. I want to tame Eotain first. At the very least. And okay, good. They turned around. That's fantastic. So now I'm thinking I could have upgraded the settlement in the north, but Sod's law dictates that had I not, um, you know, had I not decided to forego building the upgrade for the settlement in the north, they would have attacked north. That's just science. That's just how Death it works. And carnage await. More slaves, thank you. I feel like they're just, they're just, you know, running straight into my cages. Uh, Tyrion, what are you doing, mate? Cup, what are you doing? Where's he going? He's in march stance, so he can't run, and he's going to be tired. So if I can reach him with my black arc, I think I might. I think I might just run at him and take him out. Because it looks like he's trying to give it a wide berth and, like, head towards my capital, which I don't really want. I don't want him heading towards my capital. Oh, no, Shikara's in now. Uh, is that the Shikara I sacked who's now infiltrated the High Elves? I'm going to assume it is. Because um, that's an exciting narrative, you know? That's the old Drakal. Although saying that, that would have been a bit rubbish, um, a story, because if they're that capable that they can infiltrate the High Elves and lead their armies after, like, two whole seconds, then, um, you know, they probably were capable enough not to have to confederate and gift their whole, uh, you know, realm over to me. But whatever. It's all good. Um, we're going to have to fight this. I can't risk suffering heavier casualties uh, in this area because I need to keep fighting them off. Because you got to remember, these these guys, that's the other faction. Okay, this is Tyrannok. We've already fought off Illyrian and now we have to fight off Tyrannok. And that's just going to keep happening back and forth. So we need to keep this keep this strong, basically. So, let's fight. Alright, so here they are. These are elves. These are other elves. Okay. But... They can't, uh, they can't get over the differences. So they're going to have to bludgeon each other to death. It's the circle of life. So, uh, you guys head over there. Boop. Uh, where are these guys? Boop. And a boop. What we do need here that would really, really help us to no end is a sorceress. Just any sorceress in this area would help us so much. Okay, what I can do is knacker this great eagle with our harpies. Okay, you guys need to come this way, because, uh, yeah, this, this isn't going to plan. Okay, it looks like we are going to get hold of it. Alright, let's deal with these guys. They're clearly being jerks. And dinosaurs, you get in there. You keep chasing them. And hopefully they'll die in a hurry. Good. Oh, how are things looking? Oh, they're doing alright. And... You can keep pushing on in. Okay, Dino. Go on, boy. You know what? Yeah, I need to get in over here. Or but let's just blow up those bleak swords. That's gonna help us a lot. Okay. And yeah, that went well. That went well. Good job. Alright, you know what? One of you can keep chasing. You guys head over this way. And I guess I'll just move out of the way with the harpies that did get pretty hurt, but they got a bit more hurt, so we're good. Okay, looks like that's all dealt with. And yep, they're shattered, so you guys can run in this way. Alright, good stuff. No, like this, though. Oh, that one bit. Okay, you keep chasing. 
There's a lot of the Seagull to be dealt with pretty shortly. No, no, no. Oh, look at that. Huge pile of dead elves where we detonated the uh, Dark Conduit. Bloody marvellous. Okay, charge him. And let's charge out again. Let's head around the back. Keep chasing the archers about. And yes, it is taking forever. That's okay, though. Gets the job done. And yeah, keep shooting them, please. Fact, you attack. Come on, Bleak Swords. You go attack them, please. Ah, good. They're terrified, thanks to their proximity to the Stegodon. Wonderful. Okay, let's deal with them. In fact, let's not deal with them. Let's let our Bleak Swords deal with them instead. Perfect. Alright, you head up that way. Ugh, so we have suffered some casualties, of course. We have suffered some casualties. And that was inevitable. And we are getting rid of that princess, which is good. Yeah, you guys keep shooting. Got another dark conduit on the way, but it's taken a while. Alright, go attack those archers. It looks like army loss is about to hit, so we're good. Yeah, we're good. Alright, not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Close victory. Wonderful. So, yeah, killed their eagle and, yeah, a bunch of their cavalry. Still some archers left, but they're pretty, uh, pretty devastated. Also, got an obsidian amulet. Extra magic resist. That's not going to be that useful. <laughs> That'll do. Oh, I just realized, never bothered to use the Hydra Blade for the extra armor piercing and weapon damage. You could have killed Shakara a lot quicker. Um, yeah, we're going to have to go with the replenishment, of course. Now, get out of here. And off she goes home. Good. Okay. Ambusher discovered. Really? Okay. Apparently that was an ambusher at one point. Fine. Alright, so... Toranlek, I can upgrade? I think I have to, honestly. It would be good to get the Temple of Kati built, though. You know what, let's do that. It's such a big time investment, I want to get it done as soon as possible. Um, then we don't have to worry about it anymore. Uh, so now, finally, I can get Linebreaker. But is there any point, given our army? I mean, I guess the Helebrunei will benefit from that. And, I mean, I guess I will end up with some more units at some point. Right? Potentially? Maybe? Perhaps? Um, anyway. Let's just move over here and see what else we can do. Um, Sardaneth, I can afford to upgrade now. And it does look like we can reach Tyrion. So it'll be 16 v 16. We have two Charybdises and a War Hydra. That's pretty great. Uh, one thing I do really want, though, let's see. God, I have to be quite high tier, actually. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. I was hoping to rely on... Um, the black art to get our sorceresses in. But uh, I'm not sure that's going to be entirely worthwhile. Uh, that was only getting 15 growth, so clearly, clearly, that tech doesn't uh, give extra growth for him. Uh, but yeah, should we go kill Tyrion? The answer is obviously yes. Although I do need to level him up first. It's a bit silly not to. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, when do we get the names of power? Rank 10. Probably after we've defeated Tyrion, honestly. Um... God, that's such a tough one, these. I find these are a bit of an annoying thing, because it gives you... Um, so you choose your name of power, but sometimes the the like bonuses you get just don't relate to how you built that character at all. Um, so for Black Ark, it's especially bad, because so often it'll be like, your sisters and slaughter are going to be really good. It's like, well, I'm obviously building a bunch of Corsairs for this army, you know, that's, that's my thing here. But, yeah, well. Hopefully we'll get lucky. All right, come here, you. So, apparently it's going to be a little bit challenging. They do have a Phoenix. There's a Flame Spire Phoenix. Obviously, Tyrion is an absolute powerhouse, so, you know, we do have to watch out for him. And he has the Heart of Avalon, but he doesn't have Sunfang. So we don't have to worry about him just suddenly, like, blowing up a bunch of our front line with fire. But we do obviously have to worry about him um, getting a bunch of his health back. So we're just going to ignore him, <laughs> and we're going to kill everything else first. And that's how we're going to play this. Um, he's got mostly archers, which actually is kind of ideal for him up until the point where we're just chasing him with Corsairs and shooting them in the back. So, you know. Let's do it. 
Ooh. I like this map. It's very cool. So, uh, yeah, we need to deal with that phoenix. I think we're about to deal with the phoenix pretty well by throwing a billion harpies at it. But I am a bit concerned that the enemy archers are going to do a number on our harpies. So we will need to time it quite well. So I'm going to charge them in on their own. And, uh... I mean, ideally, I want them grouped separately, don't I? Probably do. Alright, you run in. You run in that way. And, uh, yeah, I guess you guys just hang out in the trees for a bit. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Although, I would quite like to go for those Illyrian Reavers. Although, I doubt those Illyrian Reavers will hold up very well against this stuff. But, um... Eh. We'll wing it. Oh, she's kneeling. I thought she'd been buried. I thought she'd been buried there. So I was like, she's a bit low, isn't she? No, she's just, she's just kneeling. It's fine. That thing's probably heavy. I'd probably be kneeling too. And, oh, that water's too deep. I didn't realize there's a little splodge of deeper water on this map. I'd, like, never noticed that. <laughs> Tyrant. How weird. Oh, well. Do good. So, yeah, these guys have got shields. So, sort of perfect, you know. Really ideal. Okay, so they're all busy shooting the front line, so I can charge it with harpies. Hooray! And I suppose I could start just blasting these guys a bit, huh? And I'll start to it. I was like, that's weird. That seems to be a bigger area of effect than normal. It's nice them just to stand here. You know? It really is. Yeah, keep moving. Keep on moving. And yeah, go go wreck those phoenixes. I say those phoenixes. Go wreck that phoenix. Okay, start going for these archers. Uh, you start running. You start shooting him. Okay, excellent. And, uh, yeah, let's just blow up this front line. Dark conduit's really useful. <laughs> it's really handy. Okay, good. You guys keep running in. Alright, you better, you better deal with him. Okay, keep chasing. And, I mean, you're going to get absolutely wrecked here. <laughs> and, wow. Yeah, Phoenix is doing better than I thought he would. Doing better than I thought he would. And, good. Good, more spells. Or, you know, whatever. Okay, good stuff. Yeah, you're dealing with him. And Yeah, you just get the heck out of the way now. Now the backup's arrived. You can't move. Why can't you move? Oh, there's a bloody Leak boy in the way. Oh wow, okay. Good job, Charybdis. Good job. I was not expecting him to die so quickly. I mean he didn't die, but you know. He's getting there. Uh okay, Plane Spy Phoenix is getting dealt with. But, these bloody early and Reavers have come in, trying to help, and I hate it when they try and help. This is pretty great, they're just, they're just running away. And we're just shooting them in the back. Yeah, it's going to be army losses in a second, and uh, the enemy army was tired. And uh, they're in march stance, so... Yeah, I'll be gone. Yeah, I'll be gone in a minute. Excellent. Yep. This is, this was their strategy. This was their strategy. Just try and... Try and outrun. Try and outrun the uh, crossbow bolts. They're not the brightest. Ah, oh, it's gonna be 40 seconds. I was thinking I could dark conduit that guy just to blow him up. We can't. We can't. Decisive victory. So there goes Tyrion. Um, and we're gonna enslave all of his troops. And sink his battleship. Good. Good stuff. Uh, that might be nice to get on the way to the, back to. 
extra linear, but I don't want to be absent too much longer, just in case. But uh, I found a Biting Blade for 45 extra armor-piercing weapon damage, which is pretty good, actually. Jagged Edge of the Biting Blade ensures that even the strongest armor struggles to repel this weapon. Also, Terror of the Deep, we got another Charybdis, which is awesome. We could have three Charybdises. Charybdi? Caribbeans? Uh, even the primeval horrors of the deep are no match for your iron will. Hell yeah, they're not. And also, plus two melee attack for the whole army, and extra recruit rank for the whole army. Thanks to uh, defeating Tyrion. Now the Azur's greatest warrior has been laid low. What of the island kingdom he has sworn to protect? Oh, it's doomed. It's like, straight up. Going ashore. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, it'll be fine. Just, uh... Bow before Raka. Take my word for it. Devour them. You know what? Can we... Yes, we can. Let's raid. And then we can attack. Because might as well get some extra cash out of it, right? And slaves. Extra everything. In fact, our slave um, figures have gone up a stupid amount since all of the elves declared war on us. Oh. Hi. I like that he always says hi to us. Um, so, let's get him. Oh, I don't know. Probably line breaker. We pro will probably fill his army up with some just like cheap rubbish at some point. Same as this guy, you know. Same as this guy. Even though currently we're not. Yeah, hi. Can I just... Okay. Just, there's a limit. Good. Okay, garrison building there. And uh, all these places should be a lot safer in a few turns. And it can just sit there making us uh, 1,300 quid per turn. Which is quite nice of it, really. Rather nice of it. Uh, let's have a look at our slaves here. So... They're pretty well spread out. Not in the Phoenix Gate. They don't accept any, so I'll just say no more slaves there, because, you know, they're not doing it anyway. Helps me keep track. Um, public order going down minus four for our capital, which explains that minus one there. Um, the broken lands have a pretty big capacity. Hmm. What are the broken lands? That's what I want to know. Are these the these must be the broken land. These are the broken lands. That's why they got such a high capacity. Yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, we could probably probably put a bunch there for some extra income. I mean, currently we're not actually earning that much from the slave income. It's it's more of a hindrance to our public order than it is making us money. Yeah, well, whatever. It's all useful information, I suppose. So, do I want to fill this army with dinosaurs? I mean, obviously, but should I? The answer to that is no. <laughs> Probably not. The great vortex is under attack, my lord. The winds of magic shriek and eddy about it in strange formations, for a mighty ritual is underway in some distant land. The power of the ritual pulls and distorts the vortex, yet there remains a chance to intervene. Find the whereabouts of those that channel the ritual and attack before its completion, my lord. Control of the Vortex must not fall into enemy hands. I think we'll be fine. Don't worry about it, mate. Opposing ritual started, Clan Moors. The Great Vortex fluctuates, the stuff of chaos drawn to it fast, then slow, then fast again, flickering like the heart of a vole beneath a hawk's shadow. Someone interferes with the Great Enchantment, and whether the design of that meddling be towards stabilizing the Vortex or otherwise, it cannot be allowed to stand. Rivals eye the cities from which the ritual energies emanate and return, uh, sorry, and ready their forces. Howling winds. Oh, cool. So, um, yeah. Just raiding this. Got us some more wolves. Which is very nice. So, prowling the wild forests of this region, wolf packs descend upon the unwary in search of the next meal. Thus, it was but a matter of time before your raids into, the into their territory resulted in a confrontation. Though wild, vicious, and resourceful, the whole pack is soon coerced and ensnared by your men. Brought before you, it seems they recognize the ice in your veins the, and the cruelty of your... Pardon me. The cruelty of your gaze. It would seem that this pack has found a new leader. Beasts. Well, hot diggity daffodil. Let's take Torivres. Hello, Torivres. That I feel should be, like... Like somewhere not that like this looks like part of Tour of Rest. No? It's weird. It looks weird. It's just it doesn't look like Tour of Rest. 
You know, in Mortal Empires, it's all the terrain around it is built like it's Tor of Rest. That is just a it's just a settlement like any other. It is sort of disappointing, actually. Which is odd, because it's a Warhammer 2 DLC. And this is the Warhammer 2 map, you know? But nope, Mortal Empires where the care and attention went into it. I get it, more people play Mortal Empires. I think it's silly, really. Mortal Empires a bit aimless, you know? I think uh, having a proper sized Ulth one makes for a better campaign if you're playing as a, you know, as a high elf. But, oh well. Hello, Torivress. This is a pathetic army. Uh, we got no choice but to fight it, though, I think. Uh, you know what? There's no one else nearby. Screw it. I mean, there's that nearby. But it's fine. Another day, another throne. Let's loot we'll back. The beast Lord and there we go. Northern Ivress has been taken. And let's uh, put up growth, I reckon. That sounds wise to me. Uh, so, we're going to go here, get the treasure, then head to Trelinia. If we can. Uh, so, landing on a small island, your warrior stumbled upon an encampment. Debris and spilled accoutrement suggest the original incumbents left in a hurry. Then, a roar pierces the air. Something is coming. Scavenge what you can, then scarper. Uh, shiny boots, why the heck not? 1500 quid, lovely, that's a new garrison building. And favourable winds, extra 25% campaign movement range. Your exploits on the high seas have heralded benign weather, allowing for greater movement in these regions. That's great, although not completely great because I can't reach uh, Trelinia in a single turn, which is annoying. I thought I'd be able to reach that. It means that uh, Harrieth could easily take this place over. Like, genuinely, it's a doddle for them. A little concerning, but oh well. Uh, so, we have more stuff unlocked. Uh, free range. Uh, what need is there to find creatures perfectly capable of feeding themselves? Sorry, not find. What purpose is there to feed creatures? Um, so, casualty replenishment rate plus 5% in foreign territory, which is pretty cool. Also, lowers the enemy's replenishment rate by 10%, and it lowers their public order by 8 uh, Breeding program. Um, so, this is based on... Um, oh, where was it mentioned? It's in one of the books that talks about uh, Rakarth. Uh, he had a breeding program where he bred hydras, and uh, it was after he had a... Uh, like a huge number of like 12 hydras or something, the most hydras that had ever been amassed in a single army and they got completely wrecked by high magic a bunch of um, uh, wizards of of, uh, of the high elves uh, were blasting with high magic, took them all out there was only um, one survived only one survived, the rest had fled basically um, but what happened is that I think it was um, with the help of uh, uh, what's her face uh, Malekith's mum you know, old Mummy Malekith. I can't remember a bloody name, but you know who I mean, anyway. Malekith's mum. She's one of the legendary lords in this game. I can't remember a bloody name. Marathi, that's the one. Marathi. Thanks, me, for remembering eventually. Uh, Marathi imbued them all with dark magic um, and made them incredibly resilient to magic, um, which was then, you know, terrifying. And they were used to breed more of them. So there were this... Uh, it was, it was uh, that, that one... Uh, sorry, that one uh, Hydra that had been imbued with all this magic, all these magic runes and other nonsense, um, that then was used to, to breed, you know, to sire a bunch more um, Hydras. And I think only one in ten of them were, were special and, you know, and strong against magic and things. Which, sadly, they don't actually have that as a... As, they don't have magic resistance as a, as a thing here, even though this is based on a story about giving Hydras magic resistance, essentially. That's not a thing that happens here. But what it does do is adds plus eight melee attack for Hydras and Charybdises. And it also adds Frost Breaths to Charybdis. And it adds Abyssal Howl for Hydra. So basically they swap um, their abilities over. Well, they get to keep their own abilities. But, you know, they get each other's abilities, which is really cool. So the Beastmasters were so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. So anyway, that's fun. It's a fun thing. But Magic Resist is less flashy and a bit more boring, but more appropriate for the source material if you know what I mean. Uh, harpy claw bolts extracting the claws of captive harpies without suffering injury requires a control that few beast masters possess but yields armaments most useful for beast catching. So yeah, it's some horrible barbed tips 
to help uh, harpoon things. Uh, so casualty uh, captured goes up by 25%, which is a pretty big deal. Increase the chance monsters will be added to the monster pen while raiding, fighting battles, or occupying settlements. And Scourge Runner Chariots and Reaper Bolt Throwers gain Harpy Claw ammunition, which reduces enemy movement speed on hit. Which is pretty cool, I've got to say. That's a pretty cool thing. Also, uh, Pack Hunters makes Cold One units much better and puts up uh, Ambush Success Chance by 25% which is pretty good, and it gives Storks to Feral Cold Ones, Cold One Knights, and Cold One Dread Knights, which is very, very scary. So they're lethal at eight months, and I do mean lethal. I've hunted most things that can hunt you, but the wary, uh, the, sorry, the way these things move. And uh, finally, Apex Predator will be able to get in a bit. Uh, so I really like uh, the look of uh, breeding program, because we do have, um, as you know, we gave all the Stompy Boys to... Uh, to the other armies. That's a bit pointless for him, actually. Let's go with, um... Ugh. Oh, now they're all a bit boring. I mean, free range is pretty useful. Let's go free range, just so we get, you know, our replenishment rates way up. I think that's a good idea. Although I guess I could have got a Charybdis. Hmm. But I didn't. I didn't. I actually kind of want to give him a Carnosaur, because I think that'd be sick. But right now, I'm happy earning some money for Black. once in my life. So that'll have to do. Um, so once again, uh, we're going a little over time. So, I think what we're going to do is uh, obviously just do a bunch of other stuff because, you know what I'm like, rubbish at ending an episode. Um, but yeah, here we go. This is it. We did it. That's it. That's the episode. Go home now. Janet is still doing things. Stop it. Stop it, Janet. Just stop. Just zoom in. That's right. And then, then remove the HUD like you do eventually, normally. So here we go. We're done. So guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.